Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Christian LeMay from the Scorpion Masque. Or, or Mask, Mask Scorpion. Scorpion. Yes, dual purpose, dual name. <laughs> uh, we're looking at The Legend of the Wendigo, a uh, game by you. Yeah, yeah correctly. I, I, I yes. designed a game. Yes, you have done that before. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. Uh, and you're publishing. You, <laughs> you agreed to publish your game. Yes, well, nobody else would. That's right, I twisted my arm and then I, I signed my contract with the other one. Yes. Um, so, what are we doing? I know it's a hidden role game for kids. Yes. A, a uh, younger uh, audience. Yeah, uh, or observation at least, game. Yes. So, I wanted to do a secret identity game okay. for kids. But I failed. <laughs> so, okay. so I did Wendigo. Okay. <laughs> so the identity, the secret identity is passed on the material, in fact. Okay. So uh, it's a game, one player against all the others. Mm -hmm. One player will be the evil Wendigo, who will take possession of one of the scouts. Okay. Okay. So let's say that you're all the scout. I'm the Wendigo. Mm -hmm. And at the beginning of the game, you close your eyes now, you don't have to do this, it's only an example. Yes. And I will draw one Wendigo tile, because you see, at the back of the regular scout tiles, there are scouts, but behind the other Wendigo tiles, there, are, there is a Wendigo. Right. Okay? And Two entire, entire sets of tiles, and these are all exactly the, the same. Wendigo identity. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, I draw a tile, and I look for the exact same scout. Okay. And while you have your eyes closed, yes, yes. I replace it like this. Now there's one Wendigo, but you don't know who it is. Okay. Okay? And each night, the Wendigo will remove someone, maybe eat it, depending if you like uh, wolves, big bad wolf stories. That's right. Okay. So, since it's night, every player will close their eyes, except the Wendigo, who will Let's say remove this one and take it place. Okay. okay. Now you all open your eyes and you have 40 seconds to discuss, look, search to find who is the Wendigo, where it is. Okay. Oh. So we have to remember. Yeah, he was here. Yes, but we were looking at everything. Yeah. Okay. I remember he had the red bandana. Are you sure? No, I thought it was a yellow bandana. Now you look, you look, and you have one guess as a team okay so let's say you try this one you flip oh no that's the scout tile that's not the wendigo tile so you turn it back and then that's the second night so you close your eyes again and my wendigo will still move to eat someone else okay. open your eyes 40 seconds to find the wendigo okay you have to find it in five tries or less or the way i win okay so, and then that's the entire game. That's the entire five. To and ten then you minutes. take turns. Obviously, there's going to be multiple. Everyone wants a turn. Yes, of course. Wendigo. So yeah, it's very funny. My six years old son plays as the Wendigo, and I play as the Scout, and I fail miserably to find it. Okay, <laughs> yes. it's really funny. And there are ways to make the game easier. Of course, you can have less styles, or at the end of uh, after each misguess, you can ask the Wendigo one clue. For example, it is not a red bandana or it's not a small scout because they have different... Um, different heights and yes. different hats and different ba Figures, bandanas. Uh, yeah. Everything, yes. Everything. So they all look similar, but they are all different. Okay. And they have numbers on the bottom, so it's easy to pull out so uh, from both you, decks what you when want. When you remove the, the Wendigo, you can be sure that's the same by matching the numbers behind. All right, and there's an overview. Very quick playing. Legend of the Windigo. Thank you, Christian. Thank you.